Coach, uh, Coach Rule talked about Tristan's injury. Yep. I guess what's your level of concern about that heading into camp and kind of analyze where your kicking position is at right now? I, I'm, I'm good. I watched him kick the other day on Monday. It was a rehab thing, so I, I it just was watching from afar just to see um, – you, you know what it what it looked like and what his reaction was, and I got him coming off the field. I was kind of you know looking at it and just more from a an evaluation standpoint. And um, he um, he was he was fine. Like he was he's kicking. He's just not at the point where he's going to kick off right now. You know in terms of that kind of push. Um, so um, as of right now, I'm not overly concerned. Is that just a wear and tear injury? Did something happen? Yeah, it's it's pretty much so. He he, he um, you know, the, the guys when they when they get into the situation where they're kicking, and we've dealt with this with the Carolina Panthers a couple of times. Um, you know, this there's this there's this kind of groin up and up and and I'm not a medical person, but I just know that it wears. It's not it's not something where it's like a dynamic injury. It's just something like, you know, if if you're kicking year round at, at the quantity that we're kicking, sometimes they get a little bit worn out. Sometimes they never do. It's just it's it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, he came out of the spring okay, and then he was kicking um, on his own, and he came back in one day, and he was like, this doesn't feel right. And, you know, we were kind of working through it, and then, you know, they uh, they did something. I, I, I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor. I, it's not a major thing right now. It's just something that, we you know, we've got to work through. The timing of it was actually good. I mean, obviously, I'd like him to be kicking right now, but, like, if he had done – that and he had come into the training room this week or next week or last week, it would be way more of a concern. You know, it's something that we've been dealing with and, and uh, you know, working on since early June. And the, the change this year that allows more coaches to work with players in practice and games, um, how can that impact special teams to have uh, additional coaches, whether they're analysts or whatever, quality control, who are now out there on the field and able to help you do the things you want to do in that aspect? It's a big help for me, especially because, um, you know, had to have, I like to segment what we're doing. Um, it really helps a lot in meetings as much as it does on the field. So, like, and I, I was segmenting that anyway, but, um, like, like, you imagine in this day and age with the attention that, that these kids have, like, I'm trying to coach all 11 in a meeting or on the field. It just doesn't work. So to be able to separate those guys and have guys that can coach. So, you know, Garrett, for example, was taking the, the gunners uh, over to, the, to another field, and he was working specifically with the, the gunners, the wide guys on the punt team while I was working with the interior part of the unit. Um, now he can get help over there. So we can get some young coaches over there. Um, you know, like Rashawn Melvin was a gunner for me in Carolina. To have him over there to be able to coach those guys uh, over there on the gunner field is invaluable experience and teaching that can go on now uh, for us to coach that at a higher level. Just using that as an example, and that example um, is across the board. So to have other guys that are that can coach those positions specifically, um, you know, is really important. I, I'm going to try to operate this year as these rules come forward and as I'm, you know, learning more as I'm, you know, over the years, I want to do it a little bit more like the offense and defense has done. And we're transitioning from this like punt team out there, you know, running against the scout punt return team to now individualized drill work uh, and individualized positions. You know, we're going to go through uh, tomorrow and start with separation where, um, you know, one of the coaches who couldn't coach b before Josh Martin is going to have the shield. And then, you know, G will still have the gunners, but he'll have help over there. And then I'll have the interior with me and having guys like, you know, Josh and Jack to be able to help coach the interior. Now we can work in stations here, have the shield here, have the gunners over there, and they're all getting a high level of coaching. I'm really excited about that. And I, I, I wanted to do more of that last year, but you're restricted by the coaching thing. But now it's going to really be something that we can take advantage of. I'm excited about it. Very excited about it. I know it's fluid throughout camp, but who are some names at re as return men options that you'll trot out there the first? You know, I, it's it's yeah, it's too early for me to to like say, but but I can tell you that there, that there's some young guys that are that have come around and, and have done it like throughout the spring. This is kind of the development part of it. Um, you know, where we see, we saw some things in the spring, and now we add some more stuff to it here in the preseason and see. You know how they can. You know how they can react. Like I'm not gonna, you know, just stand up and like what Jacory did in the spring game was like. That's the real deal. I mean, that's a that's a really big time cut. It's good vision. Um, you know, it's got speed. You know, he's running down down the field with enough speed. So that's exciting. Um, 
But now day in and day out, how's the decision, you know, how are the decisions with somebody like that? But there's a few guys that are in that, in that situation. I can tell you also that, you know, I, IGC as a punt returner, you know, really had a great spring for us and kind of emerged as a guy that I'm really confident that the coaches are really confident. Coach Brown's doing a great job of coaching those guys uh, specifically. And again, another product of having somebody being able to go out there and coach them, coach them, coach them is going to be like really good for them. Um, so like that part of it, he's a guy that I think um, uh, it, it would, would be a guy that I could mention at this point on the punt return game, but there's some other guys that are out there. But I feel really good about the, the return game. You know, um, the, 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 there, there's some guys out there that have some experience and there's some guys that are young that have some good, good, skills, uh, good skills. Coach kind of Camden Cook in the program. Well, Sam, has Sam Cook been around much or have you been able to talk to him? Um, you know, I was able to talk to Sam before Camden and, you know, since Camden, it's, you know, it's been good, yes. I mean, he's more of a guy that's like uh, just somebody that I, that I can call, you know, just to say, hey, you know, whatever, this is the – this is what I'm seeing, and you know what? What do you think? And you know that kind of stuff. Just kind of a sounding board. But yes, I mean, he's been the the. I will say this: that him and the guys that have kicked and punted at Nebraska have been a tremendous resource, just as as sounding boards um, and guys that have been around and guys that we can that I can share. Kind of like a, you know, and you know, talk to them and just say, you know, this is what you know what what I'm seeing or what what you know what I what what are the what did you guys what issues did you have with this and and so like that's been really good for for us. Coach Rule has said in the offseason numerous times that, that the weather and the wind really kind of surprised him last year. I mean how much did it affect you and your guys and how much do you appreciate that rule, especially in the cold weather months, wants to go outside and practice in the elements? Yeah, that, that that's great. And I wanna you know, I will take the guys, I'll take the guys. The guys want to be in the stadium, you know, as much as possible. So to have work be working for, you know, a guy like Coach Rule, you know, he's always been like, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? So we go into the stadium even when we're practicing out over here. So um, it allows us to get our work out there. Last year was great. We practiced every Wednesday um, night in the stadium. So we were getting some night work and we were getting some stadium work built in. But even if we don't have that, the ability to go in there, I, I think it's an advantage for us knowing what the wind conditions are are uh, here and we've, we've always you know we've dealt with the wind I've dealt with the wind probably more, to a, a greater extent than a lot of the other coaches just because of the of the kick game part of it but um, to be able to go in there and do that and now to have the, the the kind of the knowledge of what the stadium is about here and kind of how the what the trends are with how the wind is it, it's going to help us moving uh, moving forward just coming up with a game plan to, to do the best we can with that kind of an offseason as uh, as Bushini had from at least from what you've gathered Brian, um, you know, when we go back and look at the practice film, when we get, as we look at how he's advanced, what he's done with his body is striking. Like he is, you know, uh, we, you know we've gone back and forth with the, the body weight, but the body weight isn't really the, the, the issue. It's, it's really kind of how he's kind of grown into this weightlifting, and, and, and Corey's done a great job with him. The strength guys have done a great job with him. So he's really a different kind of you know, body athlete than he was when I first got here. So that's the the most striking thing is how he's he's kind of trimmed down, but he's more explosive and he's stronger. So um, that part of it has been really good. And then he trained. He's a pro, so he goes out there. And uh, even when I was you know when I was on vacation uh, over the course of July, I'm getting the clips and we're talking, we're having discussions about things that he's working on. Hey, coach, today I'm going to work specifically on this and this and this. So he's at the point where you know we're, we're fine tuning certain things that we're going to try to do better um, this year. And um, he's been great to work with. He's had I think a really good. I thought he had a good spring. I think he's having a really good summer, and I'm expecting him to, to, to have a really good year for us. You don't have to replace Marco. Um, Yes. And just how tough has that adjustment been, and what can you learn from the spring and carry it over into fall? Well, the great thing uh, with you know from from losing Marco is having you know Camden as his backup and having those guys work together, uh, you know, for the year, and then working under the, our system for a year. Um, you know, Camden, we had Marco had the preparation of being able to work uh, and play as a college player um, at the University of Florida. So he had some experience. Camden doesn't have that that game experience, but now he has the experience of you know, working for multiple years, um, you, you know, in the system here and then with us last year. So I, I feel really good about Camden. He's another guy that's like, you know, a pro. And, and, you know, and Marco comes back here and trains still. So Marco's training here and they're getting work together beyond just what, you know, what he's doing in the, in the weight room. So 
I, I feel really good about Camden. I really do. Camden has a, he's a different kind of skill set than, than Marco. Um, you know, he's a little bit more compact. He's gained uh, I don't know. He's gained about 11 pounds um, since the beginning of this calendar year of good weight. Um, he's explosive. He can run. Uh, I, I think he's going to. I don't think we're going to be. I, I'm not concerned about us. Like you know, short of him not having the game experience, which is obviously a factor. But he's. I've seen him snap so many times and do so many things at such a high level that I, I feel really good about him. Coach Rule said his son is going to be in. in. Training camp. Is your son doing the same thing? And what's that going to be? Like? I mean, we, we got, got a family fit. affair with the Foley's here now. So I got a son in equipment, and I got a son in, uh, I got a son in operations, and then I got my daughter wants to come down here and work with. She's she's in love with the nutrition staff here, so she comes in and and makes shakes in the morning. So I don't know if they're working or if they're just, you know, coming to hang out and then they're you know whatever. To, they, there's a, there's a body over there. Get over here. It's you know there's work to be done. So you'll, yeah, you'll see my guy. My guys will be out. There. A lot of the coaches' kids will be out there running around. And it's one of the great again, been coach with Coach Rule for a long time, and one of the great things is, you know, he wants he wants the kids around. He understands the the, the you know the time uh, you know the time commitment on our end, and he allows our kids to be in here, and that's one of the reasons that. You know, we've been together for so long. We have just, our, you know, our great, great Brian and, and Luke play golf. Uh, I started playing golf with them on on Sunday, and then I, I like, I was like, all right, it's it's my day off. I'm getting frustrated. I'm going to leave. You guys keep going. And they they played 18. I played about eight and a half. Uh, but yeah, so, but but like my you know my my son was like, well, what do you, we, you know we had because we had had we had two, and then Brian came in. So then my nephews my nephews here. So he's he's a student here. So. We, yeah, we got all kinds of things rolling around here with these guys. Keeps us on our toes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Fire horn.